It's been a while since we did a recap of news in the podcasting world, so I'm going to share some headlines today that have grabbed my attention over the last month or so. And now, a look at what's trending in the podcast world and how it can help your show. It's the Jack Show Podcast. To me, the biggest story of the last month is Edison Research's spoken word audio report released at the end of October and surveying Americans ages 13 and up. Some of the key takeaways, 131 million Americans listen to spoken word audio every single day. That's up 25% since back in 2014. Also, 29% of all audio consumption is now spoken word. That's up 1.5x from eight years ago. And Gen Z specifically, their consumption of spoken word audio has nearly tripled. And that's not just because today's pop music sucks. Also, it's too loud and get off my lawn. Link to uh, the takeaways from that study and survey are in today's show notes. Podcast host Buzzsprout has uh, gone viral with their video on how to be a podcast guest. It's a classic 90s instructional video throwback, complete with a rapping PSA. There's a link to the YouTube video in today's show notes. Some news specific to Apple Podcasts. Beginning in 2023, they'll no longer require an email address to be associated with the show. I love this idea. Because I'm the admin email for so many of my clients, I can't tell you how much spam I get. Your email address doesn't need to be in the back-end RSS data, but it should be in your show notes so listeners have a way to contact you. Also, Apple started auto-tagging individual episodes by category. On one hand, Big Brother's listening, but on the other, it might help your discoverability. You may have also noticed a new look to Apple Podcasts in iOS 16. If you listen on an iPad, you'll have a new sidebar to help you navigate between shows. And on iPhone, you'll be able to navigate easier from the lock screen. That said, Apple's raising prices on Apple Music, Apple TV+, and Apple One. Man, I hope that last season of Ted Lasso is worth it. Amazon Music still represents less than 1% of podcast listening, but it is Amazon, so I do expect that number to grow. They've added more ad-free podcasts for Prime members. Maybe instead we'll just keep seeing ads for terrible Thursday night football games. Titans-Packers this week. (sighs) Can't wait. Tom Webster in his Sounds Profitable newsletter has a two-part series on radio's seven warnings for the podcast industry. They are, number one, painting with the same brush. Number two, please don't destroy us with ads. Three, don't neglect the farm team. Four, never be content with content. Five, No one will thank you for killing their joy. Six, you don't start smoking at 30. And seven, never forget Joey Bag of Donuts. Really insightful piece if you want to read it. It's linked in today's show notes. You know I'm a fan of Squadcast as a remote audio recording platform. They announced they received several patents for their behind-the-scenes tech. A podcast called Canadian Politics is Boring is putting out an episode of their show on cassette. Yes, cassette. It's a cool novelty. But unless you've got a device that plays cassettes, it seems the tapes are just going to be glorified paperweights. And finally today, a quick shout out to Evo Terra, who wrapped up his show, Podcast Pontifications. He was one of the first big names in podcasting two decades ago, and he was always gracious to me with his time, including being a past guest on this show, which you can find linked in today's show notes. So congrats, Evo. That'll do it for this week's JAG show. Until next week, stay healthy and stay safe. Later. The most popular ways to grow a podcast are recommendations of friends and family. So share this episode with someone you know. And for any questions you have about podcasts, find JAG online at jagindetroit.com.